If you install the brand new Assassin's Creed Valhalla update, which is pretty small by the way, around the 2 gigs for PlayStation and 7 on Xbox and PC, then you will immediately get the notification that the armory is ready to be built. And this linked to the brand new loadout feature that works even better than expected. We also got some really cool new free weapons to earn, there are some changes to go over, fixes and way more. Of course, if you enjoy the Valhalla content, then leaving a like on the video would really help me out. Subscribe to stay up to date on everything as a screed and let's go i am by the way bringing back the giveaway in two weeks i will announce the winner for 2300 helix credits you can participate via the link in the pinned comment and maybe then you can get one of the new armor sets that are coming very soon or maybe some cool weapons. Okay, let's start with the loadout feature. You already see it in the menu, but then it will tell you to build the armory first before you can use it. You find it near the River Raid docks. You can already spot it with your Raven, and to build it, you need 100 foreign supplies. So just like the Yams Viking Hall, you need to use the River Raid currency to build and then later upgrade this armory. So if you don't have the 100 foreign supplies yet, start up a River Raid, go to churches military outpost open chest and then you got the 100 before you know it building the armory already gives you two loadout slots and you will immediately see the armor set and weapons you currently have equipped on display in the building itself and what is also cool is that the moment you switch something in your inventory like a headpiece or even a full armor set it will immediately change inside the armory as well but apart from that it works the same as other loadout features we saw in other games including odyssey you can very quickly switch between multiple gear and weapon combinations and if you go to the ability window you can also see that you can link abilities to the loadout you have equipped there's also a cycling icons option which sadly doesn't work for me but this is likely to immediately see okay this is a warrior armor set or this is an assassin armor set also worth noting is that runes are still linked to weapons and gear so if you remove a rune from a weapon in one loadout in the other loadout the rune will also be gone to get more loadouts you need to upgrade the building the first upgrade costs you 400 foreign supplies which unlocks a third loadout slot and also extra space in the armory same for the second upgrade which will cost you 800 foreign supplies and the final upgrade for all five slots will cost you 1200 foreign supplies. So in total it will cost you 2500 foreign supplies to fully upgrade the armory. I would say no rush, of course two or three loadouts are already really nice. And I do hope we get new River Raid content in the future because next to the armory there are also new items to buy for also foreign supplies. Like a new hairstyle in different colors for 100 supplies each including a new beard for Mil Eivor. I think they look pretty great. But yeah, in order to unlock everything, including the three new weapons, we have to go back to the rivers we already completed a couple of times before. And if you, by the way, never engaged with the river raids ever, just follow the A River to Raid quest in your quest log. This will start the whole sequence. And I, by the way, went back to an older save. I completed the tutorial to open up Fawn's shop again. And the weapons are immediately there. So if you are a new player, this is a pretty fast way to get access to some great weapons. But also if you are a veteran like me, this is the first free ad gear we got so far. And that's of course a weapon type that up to this point was only available in Dawn of Ragnarok. So if you don't have that paid expansion, they can still toy around with the weapon right now. And it already looks great when you buy it for 800 foreign supplies, but after upgrading it, it becomes even cooler with the red blade and overall blue-green look. Really one of the best looking free items they've ever done. The scythe is also 800 foreign supplies and this one is massive, like even for scythe standards, because it's also pretty bulky. We got a wing as a blade and just like with the head gear, it looks even better after upgrading it I don't think the size is increased here but it kind of feels that way and yeah you got the same colors going on I really dig it there's also a new hunter's bow which doesn't really look that great on the flawless rarity but that I do dig more after upgrading so real quick the perks are pretty nice for these weapons for the add gear every kill increase the damage of the next two light attacks by 25% and each light attack hit reduces the stack. So if you only use heavy attacks to kill enemies, then you build up quite a lot of stacks, which you can then exchange for a lot of powerful light attacks. That's kind of the idea. Nothing too crazy, 
but it's really, really great for an add gear compared to the others we got. The scythe has a similar perk, but for heavy attacks, and the bow has also a similar perk, but for regular shots. So don't use your bow, but do kill enemies, increase the stacks, so then the multiple bow shots following this will have the 25% more damage. Again, it's pretty decent. Also worth noting is that Reda right now is selling a brand new Hunter's Bow with an explosion on a headshot. I think it looks pretty cool as well, so might be another thing that's worth getting if you got the Opal. And we of course also got some changes and fixes with this update. Maybe you noticed that the free mastery points when starting up the game. A nice change is namely that players will now receive a mastery point upon reaching power level 200. So also if you already reached power level 200 or higher, you will get the extra mastery points do save your game after receiving it though because going back to a save before receiving it will not give it again at least that was the case for us and opening up this mastery point system at level 200 is probably because there's a trophy and achievements linked to spending one point and otherwise you have to grind to the max level that keeps growing which will be especially hard for people jumping in later so Great change. If you like me, loved the blessed armor from Dawn of Ragnarok. Well, first you could only see the cursed version in Transmog. Now the blessed version can be selected as well, which is great. Maybe you noticed that custom stealth settings were overridden after leaving a mastery challenge trial should now be fixed and not sure if you ever tried hijacking a horse from an npc from the back well before the update this could happen but now after the update they yeah fixed it so the animation plays out well and there are also some year one dlc progression fixes for if you had issues and I will of course leave a link to the patch notes in the video description. They also note a fix for the fact that some parts of the Ymir Scream tattoo set are missing. And it is a tattoo set you get very early on in the game. But I don't think it's obtainable if you missed it the first time around. So maybe check if you got the other pieces. I missed it during the main story so I cannot check it myself. But some people in my Discord already noted that they did not see extra pieces of this tattoo set. You can of course also join the Discord via the link in the video comments we also got some specific dawn of ragnarok changes they for example made the giant ravens a bit stronger first you could namely block the wind gust a sort of heavy attack with a shield but if you try it now after the update with either a light or heavy shield you will always take the damage but yeah it was probably intended as an unblockable attack of course we can of course also change into a raven in this dlc but if you were hiding a weapon and then used this odin power then the weapon would suddenly show up again after you land it so even though the menu says that it still was hidden. Well, I checked it after the patch and yes, your items stay hidden after landing with the raven, which is great. They also said that the raven form could be activated just before dying, but I tried it before the patch. You have to be real fast, like I wasn't able to pull it off. But you could of course still use this Odin power to last minute get away or return to the fight with an assassination, do a chain assassinate as well. It's a pretty solid tactic. And they also note that there was an issue where the disguise was being removed when calling the longship, which wasn't the case for me either. But if you had this issue, it should now be resolved. There were also reports of Eivor missing one eye upon completing the Dawn of Ragnarok expansion. It got a little too real there, should now also be fixed. Just like issues where your mount would not be saved in Swartalfheim, or where all fodder set pieces were missing after buying them at the arena. But yeah, as all Always, not all the changes were mentioned in the patch notes so if you got secret changes let us know via the input at drafted.com email address or drop it down in the comments share it via social media subscribe for way more Valhalla and Assassin's Creed content this is overall kind of an in-between update while we wait for actual new stuff to play and we should also get the Origins update with 60 FPS on next-gen consoles at some point. When we know more about that, I'll of course let you know here. And you can watch my previous video on the new Assassin's Creed. So after Valhalla, that could be announced soon by clicking on the screen. For now, I'll speak to you in the next one. Goodbye.